This is Five on Your Side at Five, focused on you. We want to get you started with a live look outside. This is Lambert St. Louis International Airport and downtown St. Louis. Looks a little windy at the airport, but after a week of extreme heat, we are finally seeing some relief just in time for the weekend. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. I'm Ann Alra. These slightly cooler temperatures were in the 80s. That's a good thing. It's only lasting for a few days, though. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell. You know, the good news that we have for you tonight is that the humidity levels are going to stay in check. You noticed that today. Yes, we've had some clouds here and there. By the way, we're about two weeks away from the Bomberito 500 over at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Let's hope the weather turns out to be as nice as it's going to be this weekend in two weekends. You see the isolated showers rolling around. Yes, we've seen a few. Most of them have been east of St. Louis, drifting from north to south. They're very small. They're moving right along. Doesn't last in any one spot. We've had a couple to the west and southwest of St. Louis, but very little in the way of rain. We are wrapping around some drier air and with those extra clouds, that's held our temperatures back into the 70s. So an isolated evening shower. The weekend humidity stays in check, but the heat is building this weekend and into early next week. More on that in just a few minutes. All right, Scott. Now to some developing news out of South St. Louis where a body was found in the river. The person was found in the river to pair just before noon. Police are still trying to identify the person and how they died. Get those school supply lists out and get ready to save. Tax-free holiday weekend in Missouri is happening right now. Megan Kernan is live in Brentwood with the items you can get a tax break on just before school starts. Megan. Well, Kelly and Ann, shopping centers like the Brentwood Promenade have been packed all day. And Target has been a hotspot for families filling their baskets full with tax-free items similar to this one right here. So I looked up a list nearby and added almost every school supply item for Rittner Middle School. We're having a yes day. This weekend is the perfect time to have a yes day. Three days of tax-free shopping in Missouri. It makes you feel a little bit better because you know, it's a lot of money for three kids to go to school. Yeah. So. Exactly. I think any little bit helps. You can get clothes up to $100 and school supplies up to $50 completely tax free. Shannon Carlson teaches high school and says this is also a good time to pick up some items on your teacher's list. My like English teacher friends, they really rely on people supporting them and their wish list. Kevin and Ann Stevens drove from Florida and made a supply stop at Target for their son who was starting at SLU Law. Anything that makes it a little cheaper and more affordable, more affordable for us is welcome. A Missouri law that went into effect last year prevents cities, counties, and special tax districts from charging local sales tax on qualifying items. Before that, municipalities like Brentwood opted out and still charged their local taxes. If they opt out of it, then I think it just hurts the business because I'm just going to go someplace where they accept it. So. It's, it's good that they uh, that they make a mandatory statewide. And when it comes to tech, PCs and devices like keyboards, printers, and more are tax-free up to $1,500. Ross Openborn saved almost $60 on taxes. I wanted to buy an iPad for the last probably month and a half and then uh, realized that the tax-free weekend was coming up, so came out and got it. Now, you don't need to be a Missouri resident to enjoy this tax-free holiday weekend. Even if you live out of state, you can take advantage of these savings. Live in Brentwood, Megan Kernan, Five on Your Side. People are lining up to get qualified for the senior property tax freeze in St. Charles County. The county tells us hundreds of people have stopped by the county administration building over the past few days. Now, these are people who already applied, but their application was rejected for various reasons, like missing documents. Now they have to stop by in person to get the issue fixed. It's very frustrating. I just moved up here from Florida where there are no property taxes and you don't have to do anything automatic. But um, I feel really sorry for the people that are working here. I'm sure they were very overwhelmed. We understand the frustration in waiting. No one likes to wait. I don't like to wait. but. There's 7,000 people trying to get through here, and there's only so many of us. The deadline to apply for relief on the 2024 tax bill has already passed. The county does expect larger crowds over the next few weeks. 
Democratic leaders say Vice President Kamala Harris has secured enough delegate votes to get the Democratic presidential nomination. The results are still not official. The Democratic National Committee is expected to make that official announcement on Monday. Harris would be the first black woman and first Indian American in the United States to secure a major party's presidential nomination. We are weeks away from the Democratic National Convention. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, will be live at the convention in Chicago that gets started August 19th. This coming Tuesday is Missouri's primary. We've put together a voter guide for you. Just text the word guide to 314-425-5355. We'll send you a link. The Olympic Village in Paris has room for more than 14,000 athletes, almost two and a half times the population of Olympian Jaden Ulrich's hometown. The discus star from East Alton competed today with a huge group of friends and family cheering her on. Tracy Hinton was in the crowd rooting for the former Wood River East Alton High Oiler. Family and friends have gathered in Wood River to cheer Jaden on, signing an Olympic flag for her for when she gets back. Most of the messages on here, Jaden, we are proud of you. Her dreams have come true. Every She has done everything that she said she was going to do from junior high. Well, this in itself is the biggest blessing and achievement that our family could have ever asked for. She's blown all expectations. I've this was more than enough. A top 20 finish for the 21 year old. She had her friends and family in Wood River pretty nervous after her first two attempts. Jaden's high school and middle school coaches were confident. She's always had a poise about her that she could keep calm during tense situations. Well, like in middle school, she always had a natural talent, just strong kid. Because she just naturally had a good release which is one of the hardest things for a lot of athletes to pick up on. If anyone in town didn't know what discus was before, they certainly do now. In Wood River, I'm Tracy Hinson, live on your side. Still to come, more local Olympians compete in Paris. A look at where they stand after today's games. Plus, we made an Olympian fighting to make swimming a more inclusive sport. Here's the Olympics lineup coming up tonight in prime time, starting at 7 on 5 on your side. It's track and field shot cop qualification. Then you can watch diving, more track and field, and swimming, and then stick around after the Olympics for Five in Your Side at 10.